<clears throat> All right, so I'll get my first one out of the way. I did a neater job. <clears throat> Brody, have a seat, my friend. <clears throat> okay, for question number five, what does that data represent? What does it tell us in the science test scores? Okay, step one, we got to take all the scores and line them up. Step two, you got to find your five points. Uh, this time we had uh, an odd number, so, or even number, so we had to find an in between or a median that was between two. Luckily, they were the same. So median was 80, min and max are easy to find. From that 80, if you count back four this way and four this way, the one exactly in the middle is 70. Four this way, four this way, the one exactly in the middle is 85. So five points. The box goes around the middle three with the median shown as a line somewhere in the middle of that rectangle and the whiskers connect the box to the last or the highest number and the lowest number. Now remember in terms of percents this box is two of those quarters, Kenya. So this box is 25 percent, hello? and 25 percent. So a reminder, one thing we looked at yesterday is what do these numbers mean? They're quartiles or quarters of the scores. That means a total of 50 percent, if we add these two together, uh, take a look up here Brody, 50 percent of the students scored what? Between... 75%. That's a pretty decent science test. Set 50% of the students uh, were between 70 and 85, yeah. between C's and mid B's. Okay. You do have 25% uh, that are below 70, but they didn't fail. Uh, what's the minimum? What's the lowest grade? 60. 60, so that's a D minus. That's not a fail. And then you do have some up here, some 25% are in the high B up to the A range. Would you say that this one's skewed or symmetric? Symmetric. It's pretty symmetric. If there's any skew, it's that this whisker looks a tiny bit longer than the other whisker. But I'd say this is decently symmetric. All right. Uh, is this becoming more clear how to do these box and whiskers now? Okay. So along with working on that homework sheet, there is a worksheet. So actually set aside the homework at this point. Um, should we start this together or just let you loose on it? Let us loose. I think we're going to let you loose on it, and then if we need to, uh, we'll look at questions together tomorrow. So the rest of the today, you're working on this worksheet. If you don't finish this sheet, you can take it home, but uh, hopefully we can get some of you turning this in before the end of the day.